Hello and welcome to Creative Nerds. Today we have a quick tutorial to share with you on how you can use Photoshop to create objects, shapes such as a square and a circle and then copy over the CSS into an actual website into HTML. Okay so we're going to start off by creating some shapes. So I'm going to grab the rounded rectangle tool and I'm going to select a nice dark red actually a nice bright red in fact I'm just going to draw out a nice rectangle in the middle of the canvas and then we're going to create another shape but this time we want it to be a circle and we're going to choose a completely different colour so let's go with a light green some nice lime green now if we change the fill colour it's that light green there you go, let's position that a little bit. Now, what it will do, when we copy over the CSS, it inherits the name of the layer. So you want to call it a name which we can actually use within a CSS file, if we're going to reference the same class many times. So we're going to call it rounded, we're going to call it circle. And then we're just going to call the recta rounded rectangle, we're going to change the name to rectangle or lowercase. Now all we need to do is simply select that layer which we, want to, which we want to copy over the CSS. Select copy CSS and we're going to open up a web editor so we can add in our HTML and CSS. So I'm going to use Adobe Edge View and all I'm going to do is create some CSS within the document to style. Close. and I'm just going to paste in that bit of CSS we just copied over so control V rectangle so if we just get rid of the space and at the end it's carried over an underscroll and all I'm going to do is copy the name of the class control C command C from the Mac and I'm going to create a new div then class, whoops, let me still do that again, so create a new div and then we're going to add a class to that div which is the name of our CSS layer. which is rectangle. So we can delete this other div which is just created. And you'll notice our circle is then copied into the canvas. So let's do it for a circle as well, see so how that would work also. So right click again, copy CSS, head back over to Adobe Code View. We're gonna repeat the same process, paste in our CSS. The class is called circle. So we're going to copy over the name circle. We're going to create a new div. Div class equals speech marks circle. And there you go. It's copied in our exact circle. Copying the exact same border radius, the same color, and the same position in which we've had in our Photoshop design. Hope this has been a handy tutorial and it's the type of tutorial which I can see you using in your web design projects time and time again. It's a handy little quick trick which will save you a huge amount of time. Thanks for watching and stay tuned to Creative Nerds for further tutorials.